Tip Creative Studio. In today's video, we're taking a look at this Iceman Premier Collection resin statue from Diamond Select Toys. This is a limited edition of 3000 and we're so excited to get into it. Full color box. On the front here, you can see it's got an image of the Iceman statue, translucent resin. You got cool graphics here along the bottom. Marvel logo, Premier Collection, Iceman resin statue. Sides of the box show it from a few different angles. And then on the back, you got a paragraph here that tells you a little bit about Bobby Drake, which is Iceman. It's a 12 inch resin statue based on his comic book appearance and is limited to 3000 pieces. Designed by Joe Allard and sculpted by Matt Broyard. Piece looks awesome. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Yes, we shall. Very cool, you got Iceman here. Okay, you get Iceman, I'll get the base. Got it. Oh, he's awfully light. It's funny because it looks like he has like ice skates on because these are the pegs. He looks like shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh, it does look like ice skates. The base looks pretty cool. I can tell you right now, I wish they didn't put the black pads on the bottom. Right, I, I can see those through the like the transparent. It looks yeah, cool. we got a black table. So that's not that a huge deal. And we have a black base, but they should just use clear pads, like clear yeah. silicone pads. Uh, that was a mess. Yeah. But the base looks cool. Let's go ahead and assemble this. Assembly is really simple. Wow, look at how simple that was. Plugs right in. It doesn't sit perfect. Right, so weird. You can see either one foot sits perfect or the other one. Uh, but this back heel just sticks out a little bit. I'm not gonna force it because you can see how the hand touches the ice here. We don't yeah. want to force that. It's sweet though, mm -hmm. right? You can see the clear resin in the body looks I'm good. I'm getting like deja vu from the Wolverine where we are unboxing here and he, like the ice thing and like his claws poked me. Oh yeah, carefully. Ow. Oh my God, this actually just poked me. <laughs> Holy crap. He got some serious <laughs> claws. Yeah, for real. Okay, it pierced the bag. It literally pierced the bag. You can see them there, look at the details. Those claws, they do look sharp. Yeah. All right, first impressions are really cool. I love the way he's got this ice ramp coming up. Right. It's nice and slick and smooth on the top, rugged on the bottom. You got this really cool transparent material. You got a blue tint in some areas. Nice dynamic pose where he's like surfing up right. there. And then you got this jagged area at the edge. Yeah. Slightly different color. I don't really love the yellow on the end here, but it's probably accurate to right. the comic or the scene that they're pulling this from. I do kind of wish it was more of that same clear and blue. The yellow kind of feels a little off. Great idea to make it transparent. The problem is, how do you attach it? Because I'm looking here at the arms, you can see like, like the air pockets of where the glue is attached and here is a lot, it's very noticeable on our angle. But the ice bridge, you can see where this yellow like water has to plug into this right. and it looks kind of janky and weird from this side. Yeah, I would have to agree. The two parts that don't work on this piece are the shoulders where the two arms kind of plug in. You can see some air bubbles from the glue and there's a slight different color there. Yeah, I, I thought see, that was just me. It almost looks like it's cracking just because of how the glue sets. You see a little bit of that in the ramp as well. Yeah. We do have studio lights, so it's probably calling that out more. <laughs> right. You know, from a distance, you're not gonna notice it as much. You'll notice a really cool resin statue. So starting at the base, nice, cool, icy base. I love the texture in the ramp that comes up along the bottom. It really has that kind of icy shine to it. Very cool that they got the clear resin on there. I don't love the yellow frost at the end. I do like the texture in it. Mm -hmm. All gnarly and texture. That looks really cool. I, I think it'd actually be a cooler and better contrast if this was just pure clear resin. Yeah, well if you look just down here, the way this shines, I don't know <laughs> yeah, if you can exactly. see that. That's so much beautiful. It's perfectly clear and the texture reads really well. I do wish they would have just pulled that into here. Uh, and I love the texture, how menacing it looks. Yeah. Like it's actually a weapon that he could, you know, jolt these ice shards into you. Still very cool. And then moving into his body, the sculpt is pretty good. You can see all the definition in the muscles, in the calves, the legs are good. The feet are just solid. So it's like he's wearing a suit, right? right. You don't see any toes or any definition in the feet. 
if you look down here in the bottom of his torso and his hip area, it looks like he's just wearing his little X-Men underwear. <laughs> you got the little breaks along the butt cheeks there. You got the X-Men logo on his belt. Uh, that's pretty much all he's wearing. Nice sculpt on the face though, right? Mm -hmm. You got the definition yeah. in the lips. Also the ears too. The nose, the ears, you can, yeah, you can see right through the head, which is cool. Mm -hmm. I don't see any bubbles in the actual resin, which is very nice. Yeah, that's... From certain angles, it actually looks like ice. Uh -huh. And you got a little bit of texture in the brow there. The nose is nice and chiseled. You can see some definition in the eyes. You have the bump at least. The legs and the kneecaps, the thighs are chiseled, which is cool because it has that ice sculpted look. His left arm is cool because it's being used to kind of like shoot like the ice or like form the water to create this like how it looks like it's like starting to solidify. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the base actually has this little shard piece that comes off of it, right? Mm -hmm. And so when you set him in there, it gets real close to that. So it looks like he's actually forming it. Nice details in the fingers. You got a few right. little bends. They do look a little weird. Right, they kind of look like, <laughs> like long they're, nails. They're thin. Is there fingernails? <laughs> Only you, Dad. They're a little, yeah, they're a little extra long. It almost looks like there would be nails there. Um, anyhow, very cool. Awesome statue from Diamond Select Toys. Also comes with a certificate of authenticity, as you can see here. A full color postcard. Uh, it's got the Iceman logo, resin statue. Tells you about the designer and the sculptor, which is Joe Lard and Matt Broyard. It's got a handwritten limited edition number. We've got number 1,114 out of 3,000. Overall, I think it was a really cool 1 6 scale of the Iceman. My only like two complaints is the way how things attach. Also, this weird yellow is kind of setting me off. I think it would look so much cooler. It was like all white or like all Ice. clear. Yeah, all yeah. icy clear. Like water. Other than that, I think it's a really nice statue. I think it's really cool. They have to use this transparent resin and it's like slight tins of blue to make it a nice cool ice style. I know there's not a lot of statues of Iceman, so it's cool that Diamond Select made this. I love that it's all transparent mm -hmm. resin, really sells the idea of Iceman. Like you said, the glue spots on the shoulders, a little distracting up close, not a big deal. The yellow on the end, not my favorite. I do love the sculpt. Mm -hmm. I just wish it was that clear resin color. Very cool to add this to our marble shelf. If you want to add this to your collection, it's from Diamond Select Toys. Retails for $1.99, limited edition of $3,000. Let us know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you guys like our videos, don't like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll, we'll see, see you next, next time. time. Find Tip Creative Studio.